YouTube, I'm back. Where's the camera at on this phone? Right there. What up, YouTube? I'm back. Uh, this is part two, I guess, of the update. If you want to call it that, I probably won't title it that, but it's recorded right after the first one. Uh, but now it's freaking crazy trying to get back and drive a car after two months away from a car. Um, it, like I'm laying down. <laughs> in a truck you pretty much sit oh, don't wave back you douche sorry that pissing me off uh, look at these little bitty mirrors what the hell is that and what is this mirror what is that there's the phone and me uh, <laughs> uh, and laying down y'all don't know what, what y'all can see but in a truck you just sitting up you know <laughs> I sit up just like I'm sitting in a, in a chair, like a folding chair, you know, a desk chair or whatever. Right now here, it's, <laughs> I feel like I'm laying down and you're on the ground. Like, I can't really compare it to anything, really. I don't wave either, man. Ugh, people out here, dog. Ugh, screw you guys. Ah, oh, this is my piece right here. It's been raining all week, I haven't been out here. figured right now before I go we're gonna go get some wings before the game um, but yeah it feels like I'm just sitting on the ground and the get up and go in a car now like I just drive a Galant not nothing sporty or anything like that but I was peeling out all week I mean it was wet wet you know wet roads and stuff so it wasn't like I was I was crazy gunning it or nothing but you know gunning it too much <laughs> too much for some wet pavement probably not hold that in my line of sight <laughs> um, but yeah it, it really it took me like a day or two to get used to driving this car again like really <laughs> I don't know if y'all are the drivers I, I'm sure y'all can kind of relate but that's something if you're new to driving or think about getting into driving uh, to, to be aware of I mean it's not gonna make you wreck or anything or it shouldn't you're a professional driver but you know, it's, it's something to get used to, and, and that's uh, <laughs> that's different. That's entertaining. You know, I, I took my mom to lunch, and I almost gave her whiplash trying to stop this thing because the brakes are a little different. You know, so uh, it's a trip. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's. I don't know. Now I wonder how I'll get used to uh, driving in the truck again. You know how that's all gonna work out but if y'all see my old videos or care to go back and look uh, I come down here somewhat often uh, and I know I've videotaped at least one uh, one trip out here um, yeah man I recorded a whole video yesterday 15 minute video and I don't even know uh, feel like I'm out of words <laughs> but yeah I wanted to make some videos for you guys uh, this week while I was home but I just haven't really been motivated you know going to the hospital a lot was uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it took a lot out of me or anything but you know it kept my mind on something else other than you know being in a truck all day where you're kind of thinking about what you could do or you know what well, that kind of stuff you know so my mind hasn't really been on anything trucking I try to just turn my brain off on, on that front um, not that I forgot about y'all or nothing like that just you know circumstances and all that but uh well yeah I mean you know this beautiful uh country out here south of Columbia I'm not sure what city to actually call it. I think we're still in Boone County. But, uh, trees nice and reddish, orange, yellow. Looks like it's kind of nice in the video. I can't really tell. Hopefully it's worth watching if you guys have spent your time uh, taking time out of your day to watch me uh, drive around and ramble. Yeah, this is the river road, 
it drives right by the river. Uh, this, I, I love it out here. Uh, I'm sure every time I come home, I will make a trip out here depending on weather and stuff like that. I like water, lakes, rivers, oceans, creeks, whatever, cricks for y'all, hillbillies. I just, I just, I love being out in the country. I like the city too. Living out in Chicago is pretty sweet. Um, but, uh, I don't know, nothing like fresh air in the country, I guess. I went out to, uh, my grandma's today. That was rough. Uh, first time going out there, you know, without her or grandpa. You know, grandpa not being with us anymore and her being in the hospital, no animals, you know, every, as long as I can remember, they had animals, whether it was, uh, turkeys and rabbits and ducks and stuff like that for a while, or always had, uh, dogs, uh, that little ankle biter they had, they, uh, they let my cousin take, which is good, because... I was worried. I was worried about that thing running under him, and after all these health problems, they don't need that thing around. I don't know if he ever made it into a video, but he was a little, uh, little ankle biter, <laughs> running around too much energy for for some older folks. But yeah, going out there was rough. Uh, I wanted something uh, to take on the road with me to remember my grandpa by. And, uh, so I took a Mizzou coffee cup, which my grandpa could collect steins, collected steins, and so he had, like, a whole, whole wall of those, but I didn't want to take a big, huge one, so I got more of a coffee cup that was Mizzou, and then he also collected dog figurines, and my grandma suggested a a wooden one that hung, like an ornament kind of deal, and uh, I agreed, I took that one, and their neighbor that always helped him out came down, and uh, she said that, uh, I, don't, I don't remember this, but apparently two years in a row I bought him the same figurine, so, uh, so I took one of those, and my mom took the other one. You know, uh, uh, he said, she said it always made him laugh. So I thought that was nice. And uh, I was always, I was choked up about not being able to tell him about driving. How much I liked it and that kind of stuff. And she said that my grandma told her that he watched my videos. And he liked them, so. It really, uh, helped, you know. But, but yeah, that's, that's home time in a nutshell. Go enjoy the game tonight. Get some wings to some place that I've heard's heat, but I've never been there. So about to head that way now. I'm meeting them up in an hour. I'll stop at the pretty much the only used CD, DVD, video game store left in town, which is right a couple blocks away. So I'm gonna hit that up, get my mind off stuff, and uh, eat some of these wings. Might try that super hot see how that works out in the morning but you know that's my updates part two of a two kind of separate videos that are tied into one I guess I don't know we'll see what happens when I title them but you know as always thanks for uh, watching you know all my subscribers big thanks uh, anybody that just randomly checks them out feel free to like comment subscribe whatever, hate if you want, I don't give a shit, um, yeah, 
now to figure out how to stop this while driving. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll keep on the trees while I go through this until I get up to the stop sign up here. See if I can uh, find some more crap to uh, ramble on about. Ah, uh, they moved my grandma out of the hospital today into a uh, not quite nursing home, but a uh, I consider it like a halfway house, you know, help her get rehabilitated, you know, get her strength up and that kind of stuff uh, so she can get home. So they, they took her there today and I'll go see her in the morning or afternoon or something sometime tomorrow. It depends on uh, what comes up for tomorrow, you know. So that's that's good, you know. Monday seeing her was, was rough. She was really weak and she was still in ICU. No. Yeah, I think she was in ICU still. And uh, they moved her to the step down like the next day or maybe the day after that. But a uh, huge improvement from the first time I saw her to the second time. So that eased my nerves quite a bit. You know, and just good to see her get strength back and, and all that. Go back to being grandma, you know. So that's, uh, that's what I got for y'all. Looks like I'm going to be hitting town in the 5 o'clock traffic on a Friday, which is going to suck. To go downtown, which is going to suck even more. But, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, I'll see y'all, uh, I'll see y'all tonight for the Mizzou game, right? Yeah, later.